So what's this? Private party? I didn't see a sign outside, no bouncer. Not exactly A-list, is it? Will you fill me in? Kendall? <clears throat> Come on. You have somewhere to go. Boss. Kendall, you don't have to stay. I pretty much can handle it from here. Whatever you've stirred up, my fiance and I will deal with it. Won't we, Kendall? What did Ryan tell you? Why don't you back off, sir? Get out. Ryan, will you please just leave? Please. I'll be downstairs. There's a party downstairs. It, it's my mother. She really needs me. It's a very big night for her. So I. It's a bigger night for us. Brian had his new pals douse the lights, and then brought me in here to show off his little blackout theory, courtesy of our soon-to-be ex-employee Marty. They actually expected me to believe that. You had Marty cause those blackouts in September. You wanted to, to defrost Ryan's samples in the clinic. I mean, talk about ego, huh? Ryan went to a lot of trouble. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's completely losing it. He, he actually wants me to believe that it's your fault that I'm carrying my child, not Greenlee's. Greenlee dumping him, leaving town, your fault. Even everyone getting on my case about carrying this child, your fault too. I mean, it's, it's, is it ridiculous? It's crazy. If Ryan really knew you at all, he would know that you would never do that to me. But you knew how important it was for me to carry Greenlee's baby. You even supported me during the whole surrogacy thing, right down to late night food runs. You would never play me like that trash our lives and then hold my hand and ask me to spend the rest of my life with you? You would never. But that's exactly what I did. You made the lights go out. Something that big pulling the, the plug on an entire city. Who, who could possibly even know that that would work? I knew. I made sure it worked. The fertility clinic, too, perfectly synchronized. Say it. Well, what do you what? What, what do you what do you want me to say? Because of you, I'm I'm carrying my own child, a child I never even wanted. Be because of you, I lied to my best friend and lost her forever. Thanks to you, I am now carrying the child of a man that I don't even love. And because of you, that man is now in our lives forever. I'm responsible for all of it. We are both this close to the future we always wanted. So what? So what? We can look back and laugh about all of this? Is that, is that why you did this? Is it, this, this is why you proposed to me to make up for it. That's right. You, 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 you felt sorry for me. You trashed my life. You trashed my friends' lives. And then you thought, wow, pop a ring on her finger and make it all better. Is that what this is, Zach? Is this, is this a symbol of your guilt? Or is it just pity? You, you, you give me a, you know, a nice little wedding, some wedding cakes, you say a few I love yous, and then I'll Enough. forget about the whole thing. You can hit me. You can hate me. I'd never, ever doubt the way I feel about you. I did what I did because I love you. We say the L word. Just don't ever say the L word again. I feel like a punchline in a very sick, demented joke. I don't understand... What? Did, you, you zap the power in the entire city? I knew that Ryan was alive. 
And I knew he wasn't going to stay away from Greenlee forever. And I knew how determined you and Greenlee were to have this kid. And I knew if he came back, it would hurt you very badly. Okay, did you ever think that maybe it was really none of your business? I felt if I stopped the surrogacy, I could keep you safe. And when I did what I did, I felt it was the right thing. What I didn't anticipate is what an amazing woman you are. I didn't anticipate that you would fertilize your own egg. Yes, but I did. Yeah, you did. And I should have known that you wouldn't give up. You would do anything for your friend. I should have known better. Now I do. From the second that you knew I was pregnant, you knew that this baby was mine. You said nothing. You didn't even blink. Why didn't you just say something to me? Why didn't you just tell me? I mean, you trust us, you trust our relationship, you trust our love so much, you said nothing? I knew how you'd feel, and telling you wouldn't change anything. Except how I feel about you. Instead, you just you held right onto it. Even I gave you so many chances to come clean, and you know, I told you that I hate secrets, and I hate lies. Ethan lied to me, and I stopped loving him. Have you stopped loving me? You know, back when you... when you lied to me about Ryan being dead, I thought we were finished. I was sure we were finished. And then... then you went and you waved that... that magic love wand. And suddenly, suddenly I'm sure that you would never, ever lie to me again. I was so sure that you loved me so much that you would look at me and tell me nothing but the truth. I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid to believe that. I never claimed to be a hero. I never claimed to be a saint. And I did tell you I did things that I regret. Well... There is one thing that you didn't lie about. You said your love would hurt me. You changed my life forever. Without my knowledge or consent, who in the hell are you to do that? I'm just like you. When were you gonna tell Greenlee that the baby she was raising as her own was really you? I was trying to help Greenlee in the only way that I knew how to keep her going. You ready to live a lie because you loved her? No, I... I did whatever I could, and I tried to help her in, in the best way that I knew how. What you did? No, don't, don't, don't even try to spin that I'm for the better. That night, my only concern was for you and the pain headed your way because of a choice you made. Yes, my choice. I, like you, did what I did out of love. And I, like you, was ready to live a secret for a lifetime. And yes, the motives you had were right. And so were mine. Here we are. Ready to have a future together. I want to hold you and love you. That's the only truth that matters to me. Because I do. Just waiting for us in Paris. And we can still be married tomorrow. We're all packed. We can be in Paris by morning. <laughs>